Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your afternoon news brief for Thursday. A woman is in critical condition after being hit by a car in Madison County. It happened late last night along Highway 421, which is between Richmond and Berea near US 25. Deputies reported the woman and another person were attempting to cross the street when she was then hit by a car traveling north. The woman was sent to UK hospital with life-threatening injuries. Deputies said the driver did in fact stop and is now not facing any charges. They do not think drugs and alcohol were a factor in this wreck. Kentucky State Police officials are looking for an inmate who escaped work release in Powell County Wednesday afternoon. Police say John Bixby of Adairville is believed to be driving a stolen red car with no known make and model. Bixby is 27 years old, has a f height of 5'11", a weight of 160 pounds, and was last seen wearing an orange jumpsuit that belonged to the Powell County Detention Center. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of Bixby is asked to contact Kentucky State Police at 606-784-784. 4127. Employees of a Central Kentucky pawn shop are now behind bars on charges stemming from a drug and weapons bust made on Tuesday evening. Layton's pawn shop in Mount Sterling had been under a month-long investigation, resulting in officials discovering the shop owners, Scott Hardy and Beth Willis, who had been allegedly illegally purchasing firearms and then failing to register them. In addition to the guns, officials also reportedly discovered over five pounds of suspected marijuana, one kilo of cocaine, suspected psychedelic mushrooms, and over $100,000 in cash at Hardy's residence, which is located next door to the pawn shop. Hardy and Willis were both lodged in the Montgomery County Detention Center and were charged with engaging in organized crime and receiving stolen property under $10,000. Hardy was also additionally charged with first-degree criminal possession of a forged instrument and multiple drug trafficking offenses. And check out the replay of our Richmond Review, the live show that we air twice a month with community leaders from around the city and county. Today's episode featured discussions about the Christmas parade successes, homelessness in the city and what commissioners are doing to remedy this problem, and the new factory jobs coming to the industrial park. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.